So welcome back to JB Reviews. I have one of my subscribers here, Don Slick. And he has this RV I've never heard of. And it's a overbuilt rig. It's not a toy hauler, but it is. But it isn't. And I'm gonna have him kind of show you guys around this thing so you guys can get a good idea of it. So if you haven't heard of Outdoors RV, today you're gonna to find out about them and they are a great rig. Let's get into it. All right, Don, so this is an Outdoors RV and it was called a... This one's a Backcountry Series. Backcountry Series. So this is your second one too, right? Yeah, my first one was a Mountain Series. The Backcountry is meant to be uh, off-grid for an extended period of time in any weather conditions. Okay because it's a full four season RV uh, with thermal insulated frameless windows. Um, well, it's got a full underbelly insulation with the underbelly heater. Also has heating pads on the tanks under the belly so they don't freeze. Nice. And then you got a full, I think it's six inches of insulation from side to side in the roof. Uh huh. And it's actual wood roof trusses rather than just kind of the cheap crap that they make in some of these other trailers. Yeah, that's awesome. So. Now up front, I see that your chains and your seven pin is all nicely tucked up here. Did it come that way or did you add that on there? No, it came that way. I didn't even know it existed. Oh wow. And so when we picked it up, I didn't know it was gonna come with it either. But I think it's great because every time you unhook and you go to a camp spot somewhere, you can just hang everything back up right here. Yeah. Put the lid on the seven way so you don't get water in it. Nice. And you don't have these dragging on the ground or hanging out around for the dogs to get into or one thing or another. Mm -hmm. But that thing is awesome. It's a lifesaver. You said 30 pound propane dual? Yeah, dual 30 pound propane tanks with an auto switch over regulator or whatever it is in the middle. Nice. And then it has a high pressure one on the one side so you can hook up like a. Uh, four or six burner camp chef oh nice and you did you add the dual batteries or did they come with that came with the dual batteries they also have an option for four batteries oh wow okay so you, you have solar too right yeah it came with this one comes with one solar panel it's 170 watt but it's capable of up to 600 on the roof plus uh -huh. another 200 down oh, here oh nice oh wow with the existing solar controller that comes with it gotcha and you said that down below here this is a toy lock right below yep so you can lock your kids bikes up and okay anything else with that Good stuff. Just pull it out and lock things up and it sucks them right back in. Cool. Okay, so right here comes standard with the Cummins 3600 propane generator. Wow. That you can start from the inside of the trailer. So no matter where you're at, as long as your propane's turned on, you just hit the switch inside the trailer, uh -huh. fires it up and it runs everything, your AC, your microwave, any, any and all outlets inside the trailer. That is crazy. The TV is already 12 volts, so it runs off the batteries anyway. Now this is not a toy hauler, right? Nope, not a toy hauler, just a regular travel trailer. I don't think I've ever seen a travel trailer with a generator already built in. Especially one this size. Exactly, yeah, 3600, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty crazy. And then yeah. you have, looks like you have what? Frameless windows. Yep, frameless thermal pane windows. And then over here you got, of course your Santa flush and then a light in front of your dump. So you got, in here is your handles for your black and gray. Uh -huh. You got this guy here for, you know, for dumping, of course. And I don't know if you guys can tell, look how that's protected there. So this is an off-road rig that Don basically told me that you can take, this is built to go off-road basically. Yep. And I guess you have to show me the suspension next yep. to here. Yep, everything's up and underneath. Even wow. your, your fresh water tank here to drop is a two and a half inch uh -huh. or a two inch pipe. Uh huh. And uh, so you can dump, it's a hundred gallons of fresh water. You can dump it in like a minute. <laughs> wow. All these walls are two inch thick. Mm -hmm. um, bonded in a custom, the area where they do them is a custom temperature controlled facility. So that way they won't delaminate. Okay. And so they're warranted against delamination. And in theory, even the graphics won't fade over time mm -hmm. from what they tell you. Wow. So I don't know but two inches thick here, here, and on top. Wow. Already has the slide toppers on there, Schwintech slide, slide topper out. on there, Schwintech, yeah. yeah. The whole nine yards. So, comes factory with these one inch slam lock doors that are magnetic with the big, uh, the big brackets up here to hold them open. Mm -hmm. And then it comes factory with this slide out tray also. So wow. I think this is a lippert. Yeah, or is it, yeah, more right? 
Oh, maybe it's a Mora. I don't, maybe, I don't know. It might be a Mora ride because of the blue. Yeah, and see this right here? I love this. Yeah, the diamond plate. Yeah, so having carpet down here is silly, but most oh, manufacturers yeah. aren't doing that anymore. And then over here you got your battery selector, and then you got your light for out front, so you uh -huh. can light up your tongue and everything, and then of course just the light right here. And then they put that behind a cover. I don't think I've ever seen a manufacturer mm -hmm. be that detailed. Yeah, they cover it up so people can't mess with it, and that'll turn your battery system on and off. Wow. And it gives you all your other information right here for your trailer, VIN number, and weights, and all that stuff. That's awesome. This thing supposedly holds like up to five or six hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. I just wish it slid out further, uh -huh. like an extra two feet. But well, I mean that's a pretty tall door for a travel trailer oh, as well. Yeah. yeah, you're not you're not creeping into it like this. Yeah, you can get in there and get everything you need to get in and out. So it's it's really easy. Then you just slam it down, let it go. And then you you did switch off the power ones with the yeah. It's this one came with power leveling jacks. I just didn't want to deal with four other motors that could go bad or mm -hmm. electronics or whatnot. So I said, I'll just use my drill gun every day and <laughs> throw those suckers down. Absolutely. No, that's smart. I like that. Aluminum steps. And you have two entrances, one here, then one at the back. Yeah, one for the bedroom, one for the kitchen. Full giant fiberglass cap, which is super dirty right now. And then it's got the whole uh, rhino liner. Yeah. It came protected. that way. Wow, yeah, that's pretty rough too. So it's, it's going to help protect it from the rock chips up. Yep, came with the rhino liner, and then a giant metal guard that goes over the uh, the awning when you roll it in to keep oh, it from yeah. sun rot, and also when you're driving down the road, something hits it or one thing or another. Yeah, you don't have any problems with that. Now you got to show us the suspension next too. Oh yeah. Okay, so this comes with the full Moride CRE 3000 suspension system that has the drop shackle on it, so it raises the trailer higher up off the ground. So you got more clearance. So if you're going uh, out of bounds, you know, camping out in the wilderness somewhere, uh, BLM, things like that, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry so much about your ground clearance, but it also provides a really smooth ride. So you've got a spring on each one, shackles on each tire, and KYB shocks on each tire. How does it tow? Great. You, know, <laughs> you hit bumps and things like that. You can't feel the trailer back there. The truck will hit the bumps, you can feel it, but once the trailer hits them, you really don't know. Wow. You might feel a little tug, but that's about it. And in case you're wondering what truck Don has, is right there. He's a Chevy boy at mm -hmm. heart. <laughs> yes. One ton Duramax. Yes, sir. One ton Duramax, about 3,700 pounds of payload capacity, more than enough for what he's sewing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, even something else that Don mentioned about the awning is he has his support in the center. Yep. And that came factory also. Yeah. So it's a 21 foot awning, so it won't sag when oh, you're going wow. down the road and it won't bow and bounce as you're going down the road. That's nice. Yeah. So mine is starting to kind of bow right there. So I might have to look into getting something like that at some point. Yeah. It's pretty sweet nice. the way it works. And of course it's got the lights under it. Mm -hmm. Like every other trailer, the stereo sucks. <laughs> so you end up having to replace that. But, uh, and then it's got the, uh, the Goodyear tires. The Goodyear Endurance tires with the stronger sidewall, 80 PSI. I can't remember if they're 10 or 12 ply. Uh-huh. But uh, they are nice. Yeah, these are definitely 10 ply, 80 PSI. It has support brackets for this guy because some people are flopping in the wind and they break and fall off. Oh, yeah came with mud flaps that are actually mounted to a metal bracket that are welded <laughs> to the frame. Um, then of course the aluminum fold out steps. Mm, this is always nice. Oh yeah. Regular squared off bumper that holds your uh, your poop tank hose. Oh nice. Does it do it on the other side? Yeah, just on that side. Oh nice. My last one had it, it would open on both sides. This one they only did it on one side for some reason. Well if you lose a cap, all you have to do is get one. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and you'll have to worry about it falling out of one side. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Huge oversized ladder. Oh nice. So it's big heavy dude oversized ladder. Full walkable roof. 50 amp or 30 amp? This one's a 30 amp. Okay. And all the lights on these, as you can see, they're actual LED lights with an actual housing, not these little plastic things that yeah. pop on and off that fade and break and crack. Uh -huh. These ones are all screwed onto the to the body itself. Nice. Yeah, we should definitely go inside so we can show everybody how overbuilt this thing is on the inside. Oh yeah. yeah she's good. Oh yeah. Oh. Real quickly, is that 12 gallon? 
I think it's a 10 gallon water heater. 10 gallon, okay. 10 gallon water heater. And then over here, you got your separate high pressure hose with its own water pump, which is 60, 65 PSI water pump for your high pressure hose. That's insane. With a one inch insulated door. And then a... And that's your city water connection. Okay, city water connection, nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely an overbuilt RV. Like I've never seen anything like this forever. And I've walked through quite a bit of travel trailers. Yeah, they're nice. They're a lot different than what people are used to. So you can see that. So that's the outside of the trailer. That's the inside of the trailer. And here's your two inches of foam. And they use these to go over here and use them for to sit on. Wow. So that's how you sit on your dinette. You wow. Store those suckers back in there. So they take, when they cut out their windows, they save those pieces and use them for seating under the dinette. Okay. Rather than throwing them away or wasting them one thing. But that gives you an idea of just how thick the trailer is. And then it's got aluminum, aluminum framing, uh -huh. aluminum two by four framing with two by four wood inside the aluminum frame. So. You can screw right into that and it's super sturdy. The whole thing doesn't move. Mm -hmm. Six foot 11 to the ceiling. Wow. Full bowstring roof, full of insulation. AC. How many ACs? One or two? Just one in Just here. Just one, okay. And it's yeah. like, you know, so it's on right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. I have the mic actually pointing that way. It's not that loud. No, huh? It's not loud at all, actually. Oh, you have a couch good. right here. Yep, couch folds out into a. I don't know if I'd call it a queen size bed, uh huh. but it's a nice bed. This is actually longer than a queen size bed, the dinette. Okay. Not quite as wide, but it's longer than a queen. And then you got the extra thick cushions. Yeah. And you said this is the biggest dinette in the industry. That's the biggest dinette in the industry, yeah. Other people will have, you know, like the big wrap around ones that be bigger, yeah. but when you're talking dinette, this is bigger. And then um, this oh, one all nice. comes with slow rise blackout shades with the thermal insulated windows. So at night when you sleep in this trailer, it's pitch black and it's completely quiet even if it rains outside. Wow. So it's good. Then of course you got the, I don't know if you call these solid surface countertops. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah, high rise faucet. Trailer's still dirty, I haven't got it all cleaned yet. <laughs> High rise you, just, you guys just got back from a camping trip. We huh? did. We were gone for seven nights and now we're leaving again in a couple days. There you go. That's what I like right there. People who actually <laughs> use their RV. So they're all hardwood cabinets. They have an addition above this trailer called the Titanium Series. Uh huh. Where the cabinets are actually even nicer than these. Mm -hmm. And then the light fixtures are stainless. And then the countertops are actually even nicer than these countertops. Oh, wow. So it's kind of crazy. Now there are different colors for the interiors too with them or? No, the funny thing, and I'm okay with it because I kind of like these colors. Yeah. To me, it's kind of more camping out in the yeah. woods, homey, cozy, comfortable kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Other people like bright white and all that. If you live in a full time, it is. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, like you guys were. Yeah. I like it more dark wood and things like that. And so does my wife and it's just more comfortable and cozy. Yeah. And so we, we dig it like this and we're happy with it. Nice. But you know, a lot of the other ones are getting very bright white and things like that. Yeah, some of them are kind of going backwards a little bit and going to like more neutral colors. But I'm with you. Like, if you live in it full time, white is the way to go because yeah. it's, if you're in there all day long and it's raining, you can't go outside. Yep. It does make it nice to be able to have the lights off and still be able to kind of really yeah. see everything. Like, there's another couple that I follow and I can't remember the name of. Oh, Irene, Iron Irene. Uh huh. Irene Travels. They bought the same trailer that me and my wife used to have, the other RV, the outdoors RV, and it mm -hmm. looked like this on the inside. She went through and wallpapered and painted and stained and yeah. brightened everything up because they're full timers, just like you said. Mm -hmm. And I think it was it was helpful for them to have yeah. more light and everything in there. So yeah, they changed it up, but they still really liked the trailer itself. They had since gone to a giant RV now, or a giant <laughs> fifth wheel. But. Well, I will say though, if we weren't full-time RVing, I think we still would have made it all white. I didn't like, yeah. our, our colors were a little, I don't know, like it was dark in there. So yeah. we had, and we had those dark, dark brown blinds on there. Oh, I don't yeah, know if yeah. you remember from the beginning. Like, so a little we, bit, yeah. So we kind of just said, you know, let's just get rid of everything and just paint it. So yeah. But yeah, you have television right there. Yep. I think Radio. it's a 40 inch. Okay. It's 12 volt. 
And then we just hooked up a, a Google Chromecast to it, and then okay. we just take a hotspot with us, and we can watch whatever we want, wherever we want. That's awesome. And then, of course, it's got the crappy stereo like every other <laughs> RV has. Yeah, was that Jensen the or Furion? Furion. Jensen TV Furion thing. And then this thing is huge, so you got tons of storage back nice. under there. In that guy, lots of storage. Wow. And this is the only slide out too, right? Yeah, the only one slide. So it goes out three and a half feet at least. Yeah. I don't know, it's pretty big. And is that your pantry right there? Yeah, so we got pantry here, which okay. you can move these shelves up and down. So if you want to hang coats, you can, or if you want to just turn it all into a pantry, you uh -huh. can. And then another pantry here. This stuff. This particular model doesn't have as much storage as some of the others. others have storage galore mm -hmm. and it just goes on for days this one here is just you know it's pretty simple but for just me and the wife and the two dogs yeah you know it's good enough for us the best thing about it and this was a problem they had in our first trailer we bought from them when you bring the slide in and you have these drawers under here full of stuff yeah they get heavy and people will know that as you drive the drawers will fly open uh-huh we had one fly open and take a chunk out of a cabinet over here. Really? Yeah. So when we bought this one, they had gone to locks. Oh, that's nice. On every one of these drawers. You see that guy? Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that. That is nice. So now your drawers don't fly open. So same thing with this one right here. It has a lock on. That's where we keep a lot of the dog stuff. Uh huh. The dogs and of course dog stuff in there. Dog stuff there. <laughs> and... So yeah. Now, did you put that uh, t paper towel holder up there? I did, yeah. Okay, cool, okay. Yep. I was gonna say, because most RV manufacturers don't do that. I was, like, I was just nope. making sure they didn't do it too. Nope, I put that up there. Nice. Because you always need paper towels. Absolutely. But the best thing about this trailer, so if you are if you have no electricity, of course you can run all your lights off your batteries, but if it gets hot, this trailer has three Max Air Deluxe fans built into it. So. They're the ones that are uh, black top, so they shade the light coming mm -hmm. in. But they also can stay open in the rain. They can stay open while you're driving. And at night, you can have the one in the bedroom pull cool air in oh, from the bedroom, nice. and it'll bring it in here and suck it out the top of this one. Mm -hmm. And every one of them has a remote control on the wall. Yeah. Hey, hey! Oh, there she is. I'm all ah. This is Don's wife. Yeah, Carla. Hi, I'm Carla. Carla. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, every one of them has a remote control on the wall. You can open the vent, close it, turn it on and off, adjust it to four speeds. Nice. Same thing in the bathroom. But the bedroom has a handheld remote control and you can actually set the temperature you want the bedroom to be and it will open and close and forward and reverse the fan until it gets you the temperature you want. Nice. I hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out to my friend Don. I think Don's been watching my channel since I was in Maryland. So figure 2019, 2020 time frame. Yeah, so it's kind of cool that when we moved to Utah, I moved pretty close to him. But nevertheless, I really appreciate him allowing me to film his rig. And I will admit, that's probably one of the most overbuilt travel trailers I've ever seen that wasn't a toy hauler because of some of the suspension like he mentioned kyb shocks are on there the onan generator and it's just a lot of stuff that they do that makes them seem to be just a better built rig unfortunately they're not available everywhere so if you live on the west coast i believe they build them in oregon i believe it is and yeah don raves about them he says he won't own another rv other than outdoors rv so yeah be sure to check back soon i'm Going to try to do some more videos with Don on his truck and maybe we'll get a towing video in too. So be 
be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure your bell notification are on. See you guys soon.